Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, we're here in the uh, training on Apex Legends, and I just wanted to uh, go through the different guns and pretty much see which ones are the best, which ones I don't like. Alright, got the Craver, 50 cal, and the Mastiff shotgun to start off with. Alright, let's check out... Actually, let's check out the Kraber first, see how much damage this thing does. 125 damage. That is not bad at all. Uh, fire rate, slow, it's a bolt action. Just don't like the fire rate, but overall damage. Got four shots. So if you're a pretty good shot, the Kraber might be a good sniper to run. Alright, now the Mastiff shotgun. It's got uh, four bullets in the chamber. 144 damage. It's got really good fire rate. Just the recoil is ridiculous. Alright, ranging from what was that? 106 or 108 to 144. 26, 26, 144. That is not bad at all, guys. Alright, well, there's the specialty weapons. Those can drop out of care packages. Alright, now to the regular shotguns. Let's pick up the EVA and the Peacekeeper. Alright. The EVA 63. Let's see a close up what it does. 63. Okay. This is about a safe distance then. Okay, the Peacekeeper does 110, decent fire rate, but the EVA is supposed to be an auto shotgun. Okay, so you can just hold it down. And, so the fire rate on the EVA is better than the Peacekeeper, but the Peacekeeper does more damage. So at this point, it does have a decent fire rate, so it just becomes personal preference. And now, the shotgun pistol the Moza something all right it's three bullets don't really have that good of a uh, clip but let's check out the damage 45 the fire rate was pretty good let's pick up some more ammo all right let's check out the fire rate again Alright, fire rate's looking a little bit better than the uh, Peacekeeper, but a whole lot less damage. Actually, more than less than half of the damage. Alright, on to the light ammo weapons. Start with the Scout. It's not a half bad gun. It can be used as a sniper, or it's decent close up if your aim's alright. 30 damage, 30 damage. 30 damage. Alright, how much is a headshot? 60 damage on a headshot. So I'm guessing that headshots do twice as much damage. Makes sense. Let's go over the fire rate. The fire rate's really good. It's uh, as soon as you pull the trigger, you can't hold down the trigger and keep firing, but as long as you got a quick trigger finger might not be a get, uh, bad gun to run. The alternator, it's a good, like, any gun is a good gun to start off with as soon as you land, but I'm not the biggest fan of the alternator. Like, ranges from 13 to, what was that? Ooh, a uh, critical. A headshot was 19. That's not good at all. 13, 26. Not really sure how a headshot does 19 damage, and whoever that was did a 26. Oh, okay. It just adds 13, 26, 39. All right. Well, there's the alternator. It's my probably my least favorite gun. All right, we got the uh, R99 and the R301. We'll start off with the R301, which might be my favorite uh, SMG. 
Okay. It does one more damage than the alternator. Does 14 damage. Headshot, 28. Fire rate. Now, the R99. 12 damage. Just like the, uh... But crazy fire rate on the R99. Do like that fire rate. Alright, now to the P2020. We got a 10 clip. 12 damage. It's not bad. Fires as quick as you can pull the trigger. And the R RE45. It's an auto pistol. 11 damage. But crazy fire rate for a pistol. So again, personal preference on these. I prefer the uh, 301. Now, onto the heavy ammo weapons. The Wingman is probably one of my favorite uh, side weapons to use. 45 damage. Headshot, I'm guessing it'll be 90. It is. Fire rate's pretty good too. Only holds six in the clip, but you can get a heavy uh, mag for it. I think you can go up to 12 uh, in the clip, maybe more. Not bad damage at all. The Spitfire, one of my favorite uh, guns to start off with. It's an LMG. Does 20 damage. Decent fire rate. And the longbow, which is a sniper. Not sure why I'm so bad with snipers, but 55 damage. So if you can get a decent headshot off, as long as they don't have armor, you might be able to get a one hit kill shot. Now the Prowler is a three round burst uh, SMG type uh, AR. Oh, actually it's a five round burst. It's my fault. And the Hemlock, which is probably my favorite uh, AR, it's a three round burst. Does 18 damage. It's not bad at all. Let's try to spam the uh, burst. Uh, just a little pause in between the burst. It's not bad. Alright, and the last one the Flatline, which is a fully automatic AR does 16 damage it's not bad decent fire rate not too bad of recoil either all right now for the last tier of guns guys we are almost done the Havoc Rifle, it's the newest rif rifle in the game, all this is energy ammo. I found this game uh, gun once so far. Now the only bad thing is, is, as soon as I ran up on someone I actually got killed. I didn't know as soon as you go to fire, it actually takes about a second for it to uh, charge up and start firing. Well guys, that's the Havoc, decent fire rate. Let's check out. Let's swap out that for that. All right. Let's check this out. 18 damage, it's not bad. All right, the Devotion, which is another LMG like the Spitfire. I think this one has a little bit... Okay, the longer you hold it down, it gets a whole lot faster in fire rate. The recoil's a bit uh, heavy on uh, the first few shots, but after that it seems to stabilize itself. And the last one is, from what I heard, one of the favorite in the uh, snipers of people. The triple take has a five clip. And, let's see how much damage. 69 damage. 
not a bad fire rate, but definitely don't want to run up to anyone up close with the triple take in your hand. Maybe early rounds if they don't have a gun, but uh, at that point it's pure skill. Well guys, so far that is every gun in uh, Apex Legends. Uh, it really comes down to a uh, personal preference, whichever one you want to use. Uh, like I said, some of my favorites are the uh, Hemlock, the uh, Spitfire, and uh, the Wingman. That's usually the guns that I run, guys. I might actually start running the uh, Peacekeeper, or if I come across the uh, Mastiff early game, that'd be really nice. Probably get a lot of knockdowns or elims early game. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you did, feel free to drop a like and subscribe, and hopefully check out my next video. Thanks for watching guys.